Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using consistent deformation method. In this frame, there are two columns, column AP and column CD. Also, there is a beam BC. In the columns, there is no load. In the beam BC, we have a uniformly distributed load 30 kN per meter. It is acting for the full span. In the joint B, there is a nodal point load 45 kN. It is acting towards the right side. The height of the columns are 4 meter and the length of the beam is 5 meter. For the columns, the moment of inertia is I and for the beam it is 2I. In the points A and D, there are hinged supports. In this frame, the number of unknown reactions and moments are 4. In the point A, we have the horizontal reaction HA and the vertical reaction VA. And in the point D, we have the horizontal reaction HD and the vertical reaction VD. So the total number is 4. The available equilibrium equations are 3. The degree of static indeterminacy will be 4 minus 3. So it will be 1. Let us release HD. You can see that I have released HD. To find VA, let us take a moment about D. In this case, we have to follow right hand side rule. VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 5. So 5 VA, this load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 5. We know that with the UDL, we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2. The nodal point load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. For VA, we will get 39 kN. Then using this rule, we can find VD. Using this rule, we can find HA. For HA, we will get 45 kN. We know the formula to find HD minus delta L upon delta. To find both of them, we can use unit load method. We have to make sections. In this frame, there are three different parts. A, B, B, C and C, D. So we have to make three sections. One in A, B, one in B, C and one in C, D. You can see that I have made three sections. This section I have made at a distance of x from A. This section I have made at a distance of x from D. And this section at a distance of x from C. Now let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter the members. There are three members A, B, D, C and C, B. For the section in A, B, the origin is A. For the section in DC, the origin is D. And for the section in CB, the origin is C. Now let us enter the flexural rigidity EI. For AB and DC, the moment of inertia is I. So the flexural rigidity will be EI. For CB, the moment of inertia is 2I. So the flexural rigidity will be 2EI. Now let us enter the limits. For AP, it is 0 to 4. For DC, it is 0 to 4. And for CB, it is 0 to 5. To find the moment in AP, we can use right hand side rule. Up to this section, we have HA and VA. For VA, there is no perpendicular distance, so we should not consider VA. HA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. So 45x to find the moments in these two sections, we can use the left hand side rule. Let us find the moment in DC. Up to this section, we have only the vertical reaction VD. For this, there is no perpendicular distance, so we should not consider this. 
in this case the moment will be 0 let us find m in cp up to the section we have bd and the uniformly distributed load 30 kN per meter bd is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x so 111x the udl is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative we know that with the udl we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2 x into x it will be x square 30 upon 2 it will be 15 now we are going to find the moment small m we need to remove all of the loads from the frame and we have to apply unit load at d in the direction of hd by taking moment about d we can find va which is 0 by applying this rule we can find vd which is also 0 by applying this rule we can find ha now let us find the moment m in a b up to the section we have only ha it is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is x minus 1 into x it will be minus x now let us find the moment in dc up to the section we have only hd it is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is x minus 1 into x it will be minus x let us find the moment in cp up to the section we have only hd it is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4 minus 1 into 4 it will be minus 4 using this formula we can find delta l for cb the flexural rigidity is 2 ei so instead of ei we apply 2 ei for dc m is 0 so no need to do the integration we can directly apply 0 then using a calculator we can do these two integrations for delta l we will get this using this formula we can find delta for delta we will get this in this formula let us apply delta l and delta finally for hd we will get 30.06 kN now let us take the original frame we know that the columns ap and cd having the same height 4 meter so the vertical reactions which we calculated previously will remain same for hd we have got a positive value that means our assumption is correct we assumed that hd is acting towards the left side since we have got the positive value it is really acting towards the left side now using this rule we can find ha to draw the shear force diagram only with the reactions and loads we can draw free body diagram and find the shear force values these are the shear force values for the column a b these are the shear force values for the beam b c and these are the shear force values for the column c d here you can see the shear force diagram in the beam bc in this point the shear force becomes zero in this point there will be maximum positive bending moment for bc we can make a section in this point and find the distance here i have drawn the free body diagram with the movements we know that in this section the shear force becomes zero we can find the shear force in that section in this way we will get x which is 1.3 meter to find the moments at a and b we can use the right hand side rule it is the hinged end so the moment will be zero let us find the bending moment at b ha is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4 for bending moment at p we will get a positive value that means the moment at p is a sagging moment now let us find the maximum positive moment in bc we know that it occurs in this section mb is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive 
the ventricular reaction at P is acting in the clockwise direction. So it is also positive and the distance is 1.3. The UDL is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the UDL we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2. Finally we will get 85.11 to find the movement at C. We can use the left hand side rule. HD is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. For the movement at C, we will get a negative value. That means the movement is a hogging movement. We know that in the hinged end, the movement will be 0. Here you can see the bending movement diagram. If we make the diagram upside down, that means in the opposite directions, that is called the bending movement diagram on the tension side. Alternatively, easily, we can draw the bending movement diagram by superposition method. For that, first we need to draw the free movement diagram. In the beam BC, we have uniformly distributed load 30 kN per meter. Using this formula, we can find the movement and we can draw this diagram which is in the shape of parabola. We should not consider the nodal point load 45 kN. We know that the movement at B is a sagging movement and the movement at C is a hogging movement. Using the direction of arrows, we can draw the end movement diagram. The sagging movement will be positive and the hogging movement will be negative. Then we can combine both of the diagrams so that we will get the bending movement diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.